Hi, this is Joseph Tan here from goodmonday.com. According to author Paul Tripp, whenever a situation faces a person and the emotions that result from it, is larger and bigger than the situation that means the source of the emotion is coming from somewhere else meaning if you were to just focus on the situation alone you will never be able to deal with the emotions because the emotions is triggered by the situation leading and giving you clues that the actual source is coming from somewhere else other than the circumstance so if you just keep focusing on the situation and ask that person how he or she is feeling just within the situation, you are missing the big picture. So if you find that your emotions are escalated even due to petty issues or small matters, do not focus on the situation itself. Ask yourself, where is the emotion coming from? It could be triggered by two sources. One is the source of disappointments. Uh, you know, we do not live in a perfect world. Uh, life is messy and we all go through life with a lot of expectations that are not met. Uh, people who disappoint us, uh, things don't work out according uh, to what we envision it to be. Uh, and and, and if we are not able to trace back and say, hey, what does this situation trigger within me? And what is the disappointment uh, that, that, that resides deep within that is triggered by this situation? So, so un until and unless we are able to trace it back to certain disappointments in our lives, the emotions might keep happening over and over again, are triggered by other situations which might be distantly related to it secondly it's not only just disappointments but it's also our hopes and dreams uh, here is the expectations that are largely coming from people here are expectations coming from yourself your own plans uh, your own aspirations i i'm sure that as you go through your seasons in life you have certain uh, lifestyle or certain ways, certain ambitions that you are aiming for, that you're hoping that would, it would turn out the way that, that you would want it to be. But often than not, it does not. So failed dreams can also uh, lead to outbursts of emotions. Now, then you would have to ask yourself this question in a, re in a realistic way. What are my failed dreams? Are uh, were my dreams realistic in the first place? And unless you can deal with it and reflect on the, on, on the nature of your hopes and plans and dreams and to see whether if it's realistic or not, don't be surprised if the emotions crop up every now and then. You know, our emotions that arise from uh, disappointments and failed dreams actually point to our basic human nature of one thing to be in control. Think about it. If you're truly in control of all of your life and everything works out the way that you had envisioned it to be, then your emotions will be under control and no situation would be able to trigger negative emotions because every situation is under your control. But the fact of the matter is we are not sovereign over our lives. Uh, we do not have total control over everything that happens. So how do we deal with negative emotions like anger, frustrations, and irritation? There are two things that you should consider. And these two steps are simple but difficult because it does require you to lose control. Now, what do I mean by losing control? That means being open and flexible to situations in life because you believe that situations in life would shape and develop your character. So the end goal is not control. The end goal is your character. Because as you go through life situations and you are willing to lose control uh, in a sense, then you are able to develop character qualities like patience, like perseverance, 
uh, understanding, uh, you know, diligence, a sense of uh, responsibility. So at the end of the day, if you are able to not be so hung up and in controlling every little details of your life, but rather focus on the development of character, you will find that you might be surprised. You might not achieve your better plans at the end of the day, but you become a better person at the end of the day. Secondly, you learn to lose control by connecting with others. In other words, don't be so self-focused. Uh, you will find that the more self-focused you become, the more the situation will not work out the way that you envision it to be because this is a messy world and we live in an interconnected world. So if you're willing to lose control by connecting with people, by learning to uh, meet the needs of others, and, and, and by not being so, 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 so selfish and, and so ego-driven, you will find that life would work in such a way that, hey, uh, when you expand your, your, your connecting zone, when you expand uh, your, your circle of uh, influence and friendship to include more people in, then life becomes richer. Uh, the saying is true. If you refresh other people, you yourself will be refreshed in the process. So the next time, if you find your emotions uh, going a little bit haywire over petty situations, well, don't focus on the situation. Ask yourself this question. Were there any disappointments uh, in my life? Are there any dreams uh, that, that have failed? Or you could be talking to someone and that someone just blows up and the emotions go out of control. Don't focus on the situation. Don't focus on the problem first. Focus on the person. When you focus on the person and, deal, and ask good questions to trace the disappointment and the dreams and then lead the person to see how the situation could actually be a benefit to his character, and to the way he or she connects to other people, then you give the bigger picture of what life is about. And life is about becoming a better person and not just solving problems because a better person can solve any problems that come along his or her way. Think about it. This is Joseph Tan here from goodmonday.com. If you're interested in my coaching, or executive development leadership courses, do check out the website, goodmonday.com. If you like this video, well, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.